السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بی ہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہل و سنہ و جماعہ وی پرزینٹ ٹو یو لیسن نمبر تھرٹین تھرٹی سیون آف اوور ڈیلی نصیحہ اینڈ ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے و دا گریس اینڈ مرسی آف آل میٹ اللہ جلّہ ولا وی ڈسکس دا سیکنڈ ڈے آف حج اینڈ دیٹ از نون از یوم عرفہ So inshallah the Saturday after sunrise the hajis will be traveling from Mina to Arafat and to leave Mina for Arafat after sunrise is sunnah so the walkers will take them 3 to 4 hours the buses will be there in half an hour one hour inshallah and everybody will try and reach Arafat inshallah in the morning 7 o'clock 8 9 10 o'clock and then they will be resting after having breakfast and people will be flocking towards Masjid Namira they inshallah the khutbah will be delivered and salat will be combined in Masjid Namira Zohar and Asr Salat and there you find the thousands of people from various countries remember Masjid Namira is the hype of activity on the day of Arafat because Mustafa Habibuna Salat Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam delivered the khutbah from there. Then Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam read the Zohar and Asr Salat there. Thereafter, where Jabal Ar-Rahmah is in that direction, the Master Habibuna Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went and performed the wukuf and made dua there for five to six hours. So that is what happened. Now ordinary mortals like us will be going to our respective camps and tents and thereafter we will encourage the men to take a ghusl. To take a ghusl is sunnah and mashallah the facilities are also there. Then when Zohar time enters, then we will combine the Zohar and Asr Salat and that is the verdict of majority scholars, the Shafi'is, the Malikis, the Hanbalis. Imam Abu Hanifa's two students, Imam Abu Yusuf, Imam Muhammad Rahimahullah and thereafter we already inform the people the entire afternoon and evening dua dua and more dua so what will the hujjaj be doing labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika laka labbaik inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika lak mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasallam said the best, best hajj is al ajju where you raise your voice and read labbaik mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasallam said the anbiya who came every nabi came to arafat and they read the following dua mentioned in Tirmidhi Sharif La ilaha illa allahu wahdahu La sharika lahu Lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamd Wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir Every person will be begging Beseeching Almighty Allah for forgiveness Every Muslim will be asking To be successful in this world In a year after So we die with Iman We live with Iman And pass away with Iman Why did Almighty Allah choose This Maidan and plains of Arafat Remember all my Allah chose it because before we were created, before our father Nabi Adam salam, was created, in the realm of the souls, where all my Allah addressed all the arwah, the ruh, the souls and spirit, all my Allah said, Allah to be Rabbikum, am I not your sustainer, nourisher, provider, qalu, bala, every ruh and soul said, why not? So we come to Maidan Arafat and the plains of Arafat and we declare and say Anta Rabbuna Anta Rabbuna Ya Allah you are our sustainer nourisher provider and remember that in the last one two hours the various ulama imam sheikhs then they have collective duas for their groups begging beseeching all my Allah Jalla Wala may all my Allah accept everyone's Arafat because that is the greatest aspect of Hajj al Hajju Arafa Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Hajj is to be in Arafat on the 9th of Zil Hijjah in the state of Ihram in consecration. Imam Tirmidhi rahimahullah said, Wa had al Hadith Ummul Manasik, this is the greatest climax and the greatest aspect of Hajj. Imam Sufyan Thawri rahimahullah was asked, Who is the worst person? 
in Arafat, he said that that person who leaves Arafat to go to Muzdalifa and has negativity in his heart that thinks and uh, he believes that all oh, Almighty Allah did not accept his dua. Oh, Hujjaj, oh, Haji, do not fast because it is sunnah not to fast. For Shariba Labana, Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam drank milk there. So leave Arafat and remember then you are leaving with a positive frame of mind. Our Rahim, Kareem Allah, who was, is, will always be Ghafuru Rahim, has forgiven us. May all Mighty Allah bless us all. May all Mighty Allah accept our Mina, Arafat, Muzdalifa and all the actions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.